OnePlus, the popular Chinese mobile manufacturer who makes flagship killer mobiles, have introduced a new mobile a bit out of its league, the OnePlus X. Hey guys, this is Girider and today let's talk about the OnePlus X. Last year with the OnePlus One, OnePlus made quite a colorful entry into the mobile industry. After OnePlus 2, there were rumors about a new toned down version of the OnePlus 2. But OnePlus gave us a totally different mobile, the OnePlus X. The OnePlus X takes a different routes on its product design language. It has an elegant glass panel on the back in the Onyx black version. A ceramic back variant will be made in limited numbers and it will be expensive and heavier than the Onyx version. The Onyx OnePlus X variant is the mobile which we are going to talk about today. The OnePlus X has ridges on the metal rim to add to the grip, but still the mobile is very slippery thanks to its glass back and the glass front. OnePlus has included a cheap TPU case and a screen protecting film on the box, but it spoils the aesthetics. The construction is solid and the choice of material gives it a premium look and feel. The OnePlus X has a 5 inch display which is an AMOLED screen. The display is very bright and has a fantastic color reproduction. Apart from the design, display is one of the major USP for OnePlus X. It has a 8 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 megapixel primary shooter. When it comes to quality of images, the images from the front and the back sensor are similar in terms of quality. The images do have good detail and sharpness at daylight. The white balance is warm and the colors are bright. Well, under low light or even uh, challenging lighting conditions, it's a totally different story. Under low light condition, the image has less noise but it lacks brightness. It has great black levels but the brightness and contrast are not on the right scale. Focusing is fast and the OnePlus X uses face detection focusing system. Exposure control on the screen is handy. The camera UI is simple but at the same time it is very boring. It does not have the support for raw image or 4K video. Again, it is a mobile which is priced at a middle level or even an entry level device. We are not asking too much for it. But this is the same specification which the OnePlus One had and OnePlus One definitely packed in a lot of features. The OnePlus X camera UI has a slow motion video but there is no control on the frame rate. It also gives you a time lapse video. There is no manual mode on the uh, camera UI. Overall, the camera UI needs to be improved and made a little more interesting. OnePlus X is powered by the same Snapdragon 801 processor that was in the OnePlus One, but it is clocked at 2.3 GHz. It has a 3 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. The storage is expandable by using a micro SD card, but that's on the hybrid SIM card on this device. It has FM radio, probably it is one of the first OnePlus mobile to have an FM radio. The device scores impressively on benchmark tests, but it falls short in performance compared to OnePlus One, though they have very similar specifications. OnePlus X handles heavy apps and games with ease. There is no frame drop or frame lag while playing graphically rich games, but the 3D graphic rendering was not smooth. While you may not notice it in most games, games which rely on graphics for its experience will show it clearly. OnePlus X runs on Android 5 with Oxygen OS. The Oxygen OS has very little to offer apart from the pure Android UI experience. But it is stable, fast, intuitive and minimalistic. It is one of the most straightforward and no-nonsense UI skins out there thanks to its no bloatware policy. OnePlus X is powered by a 2525 mAh lithium polymer battery and on a regular usage it lasts for little over than a day. It has no wireless, no fast charging and no NFC as well. The OnePlus X is priced at Rs 16999 and it is available in Amazon India through the invite system. Many other mobiles may see the OnePlus X as its competition. But for OnePlus X, OnePlus One is the bigger competitor. For Rs 3000 rupees extra, OnePlus One offers better performance and camera and also better value for money. It is difficult even for OnePlus to make a better device than the OnePlus One and OnePlus X is struggling to come out of the shadow of its bigger brother. Probably if the OnePlus X is priced a few thousands lower than the current price, it would have been a different story. 
on its own the oneplus x is a fantastic mobile from oneplus i would recommend you buying the oneplus x if you rank design over performance and also concerned about spending a few thousands extra thanks for watching my video and uh, this is the review on the oneplus x hit the like and subscribe to support us this is giridhar signing off